Hi friends, uh, I am Vipin. Uh, today we can answer a current carrying circular looped conductor. Okay. Clear? Current carrying conductor, which is hold in a circle, hold like a circular loop. Okay. So see that uh, this is a current carrying circular loop. Okay, current carrying circular loop. There are one side of the positive terminal is connected and another end negative terminal is connected. We know that the direction of the current is always what S, which is positive to negative. So the direction of the current in the loop is uh, seen that which is uh, positive to negative, that direction arrow mark you can consider. Okay. So around that, this is also actually it was a straight conductor like this, and if it is bent and into turn into a, a circular loop. Okay. So how the magnetic lines of force is formed around a straight conductor. Similarly, in the what circular loop also producing magnetic lines of force. So each and every point we can answer it is like a straight line. Okay. So around that it, was, it is forming. So see that there are many magnetic lines of force are there around that conductor. Clear. So uh, each point it is a circular loops concentrated circular uh, circular what a concentrated con Concentric circles. It is formed like concentric circles. Okay. Concentric circles. Each point uh, the magnetic lines of force is formed like concentric circles. Concentric circles. Okay. And see that uh, at the center actually this magnetic lines of force. Each and every point which is formed magnetic lines of force. So that's why at center it is crowded. So this magnetic lines of force is very high at the center of the loop at the center of the loop because uh, each and every point there is a magnetic lens of force uh, concentric circles okay so that is crowded at the center okay uh, so that is the reason in uh, circular loop uh, the magnetic force is very high at the center very high at the center okay and uh, through center one magnetic lens of force which is uh, at the straight Okay, it is uh, answer, we can answer as a straight line. Okay, it is also passing through the center of the loop. Okay, so one straight line and so on to draw. Okay, then uh, you can identify there are also some factors that depends on the strength of the magnetic field. That is, uh, one is strength of the uh, current. That means the intensity of the current. Intensity of the current. If the intensity of the current is increased automatically, the magnetic lens of force will also increase okay so these circles will increase okay more and more circles will form around it understood okay so that is one of the factor intensity of the current if we increase the intensity of the current uh, like uh, this uh, straight conductor here also if we in increase the intensity of the current the magnetic lens of force will increase magnetic lens of force will increase and uh, uh, the radius of the loop another one is radius of the loop okay so radius is increasing that means the size of the loop is high okay radius of the loop is high so what will happen at the center we know that the magnetic lines of force become less okay so automatically this uh, without changing the intensity of the current the, we are increasing the uh, length of the conductor or uh, that means the radius of the conductor okay so automatically uh, the magnetic lines of force uh, compare with that uh, previous case it become less Okay, so radius is inversely proportional. Radius of the loop is inversely proportional. Radius of the loop is inversely proportional to the magnetic field in a circular loop. Okay, circular loop of conductor. Is it clear? Okay. So these are the uh, factors depends uh, depends on that uh, magnetic strength of the circular loop magnetic strength of the circular loop okay one is radius uh, that is inversely proportional to the magnetic field another one uh, intensity to the current if you increase the intensity automatically magnetic strength will also increase if you decrease the current automatically magnetic field magnetic strength will also decrease okay so how this uh, magnetic lines of force is forming around a uh, 
circular looped conductor circular looped conductor it is also similar to uh, this straight conductor but each and every point it is forming that's why each and every world we can see that the magnetic lens was similarly it is forming uh, and at the center this is crowded so magnetic strength is more at the center of the loop center of the loop okay uh, and if the intensity the two factors depends on it one is intensity of the current if we increase the intensity of the current automatically magnetic strength will also increase because it can form more concentric magnetic lines of force around it okay then another one is radius of the loop if this radius is increase uh, uh, without changing the intensity of the current then automatically magnetic lines of force will decrease magnetic lines of force will decrease so that is inversely proportional okay radius of the loop and magnetic lines of force is inversely proportional radius is increased automatically strength of the magnetic field will become decrease strength of the magnetic field will decrease okay so that is all about the magnetic field formed around the circular looped conductor clear okay thank you